All right, so we just got back Man, from the- you really over-engineered this, didn't you? Yeah. We just got back from the dealer. We got this 2020 KLX 140L. Got a really good deal on it. Fees? No fees, yeah. Guys, <laughs> secrets of buying used bikes. It was used for like two weeks. You can see it's got a little bit of wear on it, but otherwise it's brand new. Straight off the showroom floor just two weeks ago. See there's that there and then, you know, something happened, but otherwise it's brand spanking. You can see it's got the paint. So they come with low idles apparently. Um, we're just gonna have to break it in, maybe get it um, a little bit of ride time before we go out and sell it later on. You know, get to know it a little bit. Oh man, that clutch is so smooth. Oh, we gotta clean this off, dude. Look at that. That's abuse. Yeah, scotch bright. Ah, oh, yeah, it's not even like, what is that? It's like oil or something. Oh, so the idle's a little too low from the factory. It's on reserve, we never checked the gas. It's got gas. So Kawasaki went with these um, Wild West, is what me and Ethan like to call them graphics here they're just weird like almost like I don't know I call them wild west because it's more like the and there's no 1800s here. there's no graphics here like the 08 had and they went they went with the green plastics with all the other bikes but they stayed true with the white for these yeah. KLX 140s uh, but they're crazy fun bikes I mean we've owned two of them before we've had a 2013 and a 2009 140 and they were both L models. Better? Yeah. Oh. We should just let it idle and just let it warm up. Yeah. It's got the KX85 shock and rear uh, swing arm. Or no, this is a KX100 swing arm. Oh yeah, because it's a big wheel. Yeah, that way. It's really not even thinner, it's huge, but... Right. I can never have a motor, but I don't want to. <laughs> so we can do like big wheel four stroke classes, like 150 class. Yeah. People race these against 150s and they actually beat them. Hey, check it out. It's a Challenger. <laughs> It'll take it on, except this thing will obviously beat it. Got to make a video on this thing. Take it out to the field. If this was a small wheel, it might be that. If it was a small wheel? Yeah. yeah. People are monsters on these things. It's idling good now. Just got to warm up. We could take the baffle out, but I don't think we'd do that. Yeah, I'm going to do a little edit on my phone really quick. Okay. Film that and sure, sure. Like, get out of the way. All right. I could just He's doing an edit over there. <laughs> Christmas lights are kind of vibey, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, man. We still gotta break this thing in. That's that. <laughs> so I think they've had this seat since like 2016. Yeah. This thing's sort of due for um, a redesign. It's insane. I've never had a 2020 motorcycle. Look at that. Like, insane. Yeah. This 2020 motorcycle meets EPA noise emission standards. Pretty great, dude. Hold it like this and just go like <laughs> Date of manufacturing. 0419. Ooh, Ooh that's dude. Old. Man, that oh, kid. They didn't, they didn't buy it until like um, two weeks ago. Oh, wow. So they bought it, what? They bought it for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was just sitting. So this thing is fresh off the showroom floor, guys. It's a few weeks old. Wonder what kind of gas it's running. V89, but it uh, smells terrible. Oh, that's definitely pump gas. <laughs> that's why it's not running too good. Well, how can you blame them? It's a, it's a four stroke. That was good. I mean, they'll really run on anything. You don't need to worry about four strokes taking raw gas or what. 
Starting off the year right, man. 2020 bike. Yeah, dude. Start of 2020. That's how you should roll. I'd say this bike's pretty brand new. Obviously, we skipped the dealer fees, so. January, it's starting to get even colder. I just, oh man, that's nasty. I just like full blown slice that all off. It's kind of the only bit of carnage on this bike. Other than the poop stains. <laughs> what the heck even are those? Uh, we'll just shine it up. It's easy. It's pretty cool owning a bike that just came out. Oh those my gosh. Stains. Too many bikes. Dude, it's caught. Oh my gosh, dude. Ah, starting to get dark outside. It's pretty vibey out here. Gonna keep these Christmas lights up until March. That's how we roll. Just trying to work on my vlogging skills a little bit. You know, try to get to know my subscribers a little better. Probably wearing the same shirt as last video, but <laughs> just how it worked out. What are you doing? Merry Christmas, Billy. What are you doing? We gotta put this thing inside. What do you think you're doing, dude? Yeah. I'm creating the float bowl. Oh. It's running pump gas, so I don't want to uh, clog the car. Oh, he's just gonna run it because it's running pump gas. And I want to get a cool picture. Yeah, of course. Gosh, in front of all these lights. Uh-oh, he's going to ride it. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh, what? Come on. Man, it's cold out here. Georgia weather is not pleasant, but it can also be really forgiving at times. It's right now. Just got some mail. This is for the 85. Um, can kind of see a little part of it. It's a silencer, so let's unwrap it. Whoa. Look at that. That is nice. So this is a really nice pipe. Um, obviously it's used, but these brand new are like 130 bucks. It's a uh, Type 296 silencer. So we're just gonna go ahead and install this on the 85. See how it turns out. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Got a socket. Got the pipe. Let's go. All right, so we are in the basement and here is the bike. You guys have seen this thing before in a few videos. Right now it's rocking an R304 Pro Circuit pipe. Um, gonna get this on here, see how it looks. Uh, it's quite a bit longer, so it's gonna be sticking about right there. Huh. What are you doing on my bike? Huh? What are you doing? Got this first bit of plastic off. Now we can take off the silencer. It's not too bad. All right, I'm just gonna take this grommet off of here. Oof. Put it on here. Oh, oil. <laughs> then I'm just gonna slip this on right here. It's 
Solid. All right, check that out. We got a fresh new silencer on this thing. Sticks out a little farther than before. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, but let's go outside and see how it sounds. This thing hasn't been started in a few months, so. See how she sounds. That is loud. That is a little too loud for my likings. Never had a bike that loud. That is crazy. Just how I remember it. This thing brings me back. You know what? I think I'll give it one more startup. All right, here we go. Starting with the new pipe. I'm gonna take this thing back inside. We're gonna go upstairs and see what Ethan's doing. I probably should have uh, stuck with this thing. <laughs> it's got actual packing in it. Jeez. All right, so I didn't catch this, but Ethan got the bike out of the garage. He's over here, getting it nice and clean. This thing is looking straight in the football. It's looking brand new. Cleaned it up. It's ready to sell. Look at that. He said it looks like sparkles. Still got the original tag.
so hot. Four strokes are hot, man. Oh, guys, actually, we forgot to mention, this is a G model. Yeah. We were actually thinking last night, it was kind of dark, but we thought it was an L model. Yeah, it was pretty huge. We were like, wow, this is a big L. We were getting on it, but like, I was like, this feels a little bigger, because we used to have two L's, and we got on the bike, and it felt big. You know, it felt really tall. G models, they don't, they don't have anything here that says L. You know what I'm saying? But the L's have 140L here. Right. Which is weird. They have text. I don't know why they did that, but... But look at that. It's actually really big. 18 inch rear. Okay, it's an inch front. It's an 18 inch rear? 18 inch rear, 21 front. Okay, so it's like the X bikes, like YZ250 FX. Yeah, it's like size. a smaller rear wheel. But yeah, this thing is big. Here, go ahead and get on it. I mean, pretty big. I'm sure, I can flat foot it, but. I mean, it's a trail bike. <laughs> The small wheel can fit a 10 year old, but that is actually big. And we're, we're 17. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get it posted. I already got pictures of it. I wasn't here, I was with the 85 downstairs with that janky pipe, but. You get a better view of it Look, right watch here. this. See how it's all ripped? Oh no. Because the people that bought this bike had it in a crate, so they had to assemble all this themselves. They did this all wrong, I had to redo it. Oh jeez. So I'm just gonna turn this so they can't see the rip. <laughs> Oh, come on, it's only two weeks old. Boom. Life hack. All right. It's gonna suck to see that thing go. <laughs> Big wheel 140 trail bike. This thing will tackle trails like nothing. Uh, yeah. It's kind of slow. I'd say the 140L is better. Because the wheels are smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's ready to go. That's it. Um, just wanted to show you guys it, of course, just like last night. Um, it's just part of our business, you know. You guys saw the 2019 125. That thing was crisp too. I'm kind of worried about what they're gonna think of this. And this. I mean, we're gonna post it for a good deal, like 2,800 about, and they go for 3,800 new. So that's true. It's already like a thousand bucks off retail, but we're making money. But anyway, guys, I'm going to try and put these graphics on the 125, make a video for you guys really soon. Um, Got to make a video of the 150. I know I already said this yesterday, but just making it known for you guys. Um, new videos are definitely coming soon. Got to get those out. Um, we just got a lot going on, obviously. New bike pickup. Um, just got off a break. Got school to worry about, so. See you guys, stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. This thing's gonna go out to Alex's field, gonna get it running right, and then we're gonna get the graphics on the 125, bring it out to Scrub and Dirt or Highland Park, just our local tracks, pretty soon. So you guys can look forward to that, that's pretty much it. Next video I think of, I'll let you guys know, but this is just an update video, uh, just starting off 2020 with some plans. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Like I said, more videos coming soon. We're going to have a lot more content coming out for you guys. You can check out his channel too. He's got some things planned. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. See you guys in the next one. Peace.